In a storm system on Friday uh, now it looks like it'll be tracking farther north than I was thinking yesterday, which means it'll be more impactful for us. Uh, the track is still open to question. However, it looks like it's uh, trending northward, which does put especially viewers to the south of Madison in its impact zone. More on that in just a moment. Today, though, just sunshine. What a warm up we had. Started off at 20, hit a high of 43 degrees. That compares to a high of 23 degrees yesterday. Here's the change and it is significant. We are a good 15 to 19 degrees warmer than it was 24 hours ago. A look at uh, temperatures and wind chills show that the, there's not much of a separation. The temperature itself is mainly in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s, but the wind chill only a few degrees colder because winds are light. So compared to yesterday when we had a wind chill in the single digits this time, feels a good 30 degrees warmer across the upper Midwest. It's generally milder too. good indication of what's upcoming for us in terms of a temperature change. Not much. Uh, the cold air is well up in Canada now where it's going to stay. Here's the overall te uh, temperature change in the last 24 hours. Not only southern Wisconsin, but most of the region has warmed up significantly. Nice and quiet across the area, and that's the way it's going to stay for about the next 24 hours, especially in Wisconsin. But there are changes on the way. Let's track that out with our future track computer model. Uh, for us tomorrow, I think we will see mostly sunny skies, uh, maybe a few clouds in the afternoon, giving us filtered sunshine. But here comes that storm system moving into the nation's mid section by Thursday evening. The track of the storm, this particular model keeps almost all the precipitation just down to our south uh, on Friday and then gives us a little mixed po potential Friday night too. But m the bulk of it, according to this model at least, is going to miss us. But I'm going to show you a different model in just a moment. In overall rain, uh, this is going to be a rain system for the most part. Temperatures mild enough that there will be a lot of rain accumulation, especially down to our south. But there could be on the northern fringes of the storm uh, some snow accumulation too, maybe a half inch or so of wet snow. Okay, let's take a look at a different computer model. And this one starts uh, Thursday at 6 p.m., quiet conditions then, but it shows it moving farther north, light snow reaching the state line by 6 a.m. And it brings us messy mix into southern Wisconsin from Madison southward with uh, locations near the state line. For instance, Janesville, Monroe, Beloit, that's where there could uh, really be an impact, especially Friday evening for the evening commute. But all this is open to change. Definitely the highest precipitation chance is going to be for our far southern tier of counties north of Madison. Uh, the chance of precipitation is very low. But we'll keep an eye on this as we go towards Friday. Much more confident on the temperature trend, and it does show that we're going to be near to above average going into the weekend. So good news there. Forecast for tonight, mostly clear skies, low down to 27. Southwest winds at 5 to 10. For tomorrow, mostly sunny. Another nice day, much like today. Southwest winds becoming northwest at 10 miles per hour, high at 41 degrees. Here's that extended forecast, and we have that mixed potential on Friday. Uh, the highest percentage probability is near the state line. As you go north, it does drop off quite a bit. Uh, that chance drops off Friday night, Saturday during the day, just cloudy skies. But then as we go into uh, Saturday night and Sunday, we could see some precipitation, but in the form of rain showers with highs and low 40s. After Sunday, we will quiet things back down again. Monday through Wednesday should be dry with partly sunny skies and seasonal temperatures. Nice to see the temperatures are staying even yeah. despite yeah. rain and snow chances. Exactly. Uh, the, the, that's where the real question mark is right now. Where's that precipitation going to fall? I'll keep you updated on that potential. We'll be watching. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned to 27 News.